Besides our calculator having many different um, functions or operations being available from the toolbox, here we have these different algebra functions and different calculus functions, solve functions, and so forth. These, along with, we hit the toolbox and hit the catalog, we see, again, even more functions that are listed over here. What we find extremely useful is that we can key in, in the command line, our own functions. If we take a look at the trigonometry and the finite math and the calculus, we see direct examples of this. If we look at this screen, we see here where we um, add the function directly to our command line. We see here where we add the partial derivative for y after we have already added the partial derivative for x. This is a direct example of adding functions. Returning to our web page and going back to our menu system, we now look at the trigonometric complex numbers to see how to add these functions. Here we see the T89 with this polar and rectangular. We add these functions to the HP prime since it does not have these functions built in. There is a note on this page about the HP prime connectivity kit crashing when we attempted to display these variables without begin returning in. With the current HP connectivity kit, this is not a problem. We have highlighted and pasted the name of the function into our clipboard. We will go over to our calculator, and in our calculator in the command line, we will paste this in by hitting Control V. Next, we go back to our web page and we want to highlight this uh, value that we're going to paste into it. So if we start here, and we, if we hold down the shift key to select this particular item, we have selected um, the item. Then if we use Control C to copy the item, go over to our calculator, Control V to paste the item in, to our calculator and press enter, we have added the item to our calculator. We did the same thing for the second variable. We should mention that it is stored as a CAS variable, and we should also mention that this technique works for the free light um, calculators, either the free light iPhone, iPad, or the free light Android, or the free light Windows calculators. We now use the VAR key to look at what we have. We hit the program option, and when we hit the program option, we see that we have added the polar to rectangular and the rectangular to polar to our other um, functions. You see that the other variables, the compound interest, the line point one point two IRA, line point M, loan, pivot mat, and simple interest, we're done with the finite math by this same technique. We have escaped out of both of these menus. We go over to our web page, click on this link, which takes us to the collage, which shows us doing calculations with complex numbers. Over here, the screen shows us using the VAR screen to look at these variables which we just showed on our calculator. Let's go ahead and do the calculations that we see on the two left screens. So we'll hit shift and clear. Then we'll hit parentheses, two plus two times square root three, get outside of the screen, type the letter I, get outside of the parentheses, type times, parentheses, 
negative 2 times square root of 3 get outside the square root symbol plus 2 I we got an error message when we tried to enter that um, calculation we forgot to put the times before the I and the times between the bracket so now we'll press enter and we end up with the, uh, the same answer echoed back we hit the simplify key and we end up with the answer we were looking for now we'll work on the lower left screen we'll go to our bar command we'll hit program and we want R to P so we'll pick the second one we put in our parentheses we put in 2 comma 2 the implied multiplication works with the square root so we'll just put the square root and we'll put 3 and we'll press enter and it will give us our answer over here in terms of uh, radians we'll go up here to our box and change it to degrees we'll go back up to our value and copy it down and press enter again and we have the answer in degrees inside of quotes we'll do the same thing for the other value press bar press program press the second value parentheses negative 2 square root 3 outside of our square root comma 2 press enter now what we want to do is okay uh, multiply the 4 and negative 4 and add the um, 60 and 150 we can let our calculator do this by using the brackets we press the bracket key put in negative 4 times negative 4 comma 60 plus 150 the bracket allows us to do two calculations at once so we end up with the answer 16 to 10 we notice over here that we end up with the same answer but it was actually done wrong because we didn't take into account the negative 4 and the negative 4 here the next thing that we do is go to our var command go to our program command select the first entry put in our parentheses and use our two values we manually have to type these in 16 and 210 press enter press simplify and we end up with our same answer that we got by multiplying the two directly the last screen over here shows us what we'd have to do to convert this over manually we'd have to take the x value and square it the y value and square it and then take the square root of it then we'd have to simplify that answer then we'd have to take the arctangent of y over x to get our reference angle to be 30 then we notice that we're in quadrant 3 so we'd add the 30 to 180 to come up to 10. we are not going to show this on our calculator at the time but you can practice it if you want that ends the um tutorial on how to add polar to rectangle and rectangle to polar to our calculator and how to use them